Hello and welcome back. So today we are taking a look at Bottle and what we're focusing on is specifically how to set up the classroom in Bottle, which is extremely easy to do, very user friendly, and it works a couple different ways. Uh, this is a very good way to get in contact with your children. Um, if you're a parent, you have more control over their learning and it can be very useful to set up your own teacher accounts. Uh, teachers, we're gonna go over specifically for classroom but parents, it really is the same process. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're not going to play. We're going to do the teacher parents because we're choosing that. Uh, here you would create your account. You can sign in with Google. You can create an account through Google or you can go ahead and sign in with Clever if your school district uses this and you also uh, enjoy Clever. Me personally, I never really liked Clever because it took the functionality of being sort of the admin of the classroom and transferred it to the whoever the tech person was. And tech people are busy. They have to fix all of the broken stuff. But anyways, that's just me and Clever. Uh, Google, if you do create it through Google, then you will have more control over the classroom. Um, in my experience with how Clever works. So let's go ahead and start out with uh, Google and I'm not showing this part of the video here, but you can see that right now it can go ahead and access all of the grades that you have for students if um, Google uh, Classroom is here. So you can, various levels of students can be entered. Your Google Classroom roster can also be implemented inside and also your classes. So there's different ways and different things that you can pull into bottle, which is super, super useful. Um, it's a very fast transition to get all of your students on board if you choose this way. Um, let's go ahead and click continue. Uh, other ways, it is also very easy as well. I have one called Emily's Engineers here um, where I've placed four students. We're going to go ahead and add a new classroom though because this is what you'll be doing here. Um, and then you can see that the uh, update here, there's some new uh, messages and stuff like that that we have that pop up which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and add a new classroom and then we can import from google classroom you can import from clever if you need to do clever it works exactly the same they have english now i don't know if it's live for everyone um it is first second i don't know if it goes above that right now or maybe kinder through um first and then we can select the grade level all the way up to sixth grade right now. Hopefully they're expanding. I know I've had a couple of uh, students uh, reach out for that. I was a first grade teacher, so we'll just go ahead and select grade one. Let's do for math and also for English. Also, oh, actually, you know what? I'm kind of teaching uh, fifth grade right now, so I'll go ahead and click. Uh, yeah, let's go, go ahead and do that. So apologies, <laughs> that was a long thing. You can also select the standard. So Oklahoma, you can go ahead and select this. Um, you can come on down New York State, Alabama, Florida, uh, Georgia, and and Ohio. Let's do Ohio today. And then we're going to go ahead and just click create the classroom. Oh, enter classroom name. Apologies. So we do have to do this. I'm just going to do classroom here. Now it's ready to get created. I did not import anyone and we now have it. So let's go to the classroom. And here we are. We can add students. Uh, you can choose the students adding them or you, there's also a class code. So your students can go ahead and uh, sign in on their own and then join your class. So if you have students that already have the game are moving up from one grade level to another, all they need to do is enter the class code, which is very easy as well. You can also share logins with your parents. And this is a very easy way to go ahead and do this. Finishing setting up would be creating classroom, adding the students, and then playing the game as well. Um, you'll see this is your dashboard. You'll see the student activity. Um, you can look at their correct answers as well. You can also do game locks, temporarily restrict specific parts of the game, which is very helpful if you want to focus uh, students for a specific amount of time. So let's click manage game locks here and set game locks. 
So you can select all students. If one student is not actually playing, you can go ahead and select the ind individual student um, in order to choose that. We would have to have students inside, so I might go ahead and do that with my other class um, to show that. And there's also a duration. So they have to do a certain amount of work for a certain amount of time, and then they get to experience the entire game, which is cool. Most of the things that you do in Bottle, though, are highly educational. So as an educator, I don't know if I would be doing that. Um, Let's see, we also have a uh, live feed here. So this allows you to see which students are online and which questions they're currently answering in real time. So we'll be able to, you'll be able to watch your students here through the live feed, super helpful. It's great that it's built in that you have that level of control to make sure that they are on task. Uh, you'll get information about your students and their learning. Um, you can change their grade levels if they need acceleration or if they do need to have a little bit more time in a lower level. Uh, the language settings for ELA student or E. EAL students, uh, login information, and also for linking parents and guardians. Remember, connecting those parents is very helpful um, uh, for increasing student engagement. You can also do assignments. You can choose groups of students, have clusters for the students. It's very, very helpful. If you would like for um, to go ahead and uh, have uh, walkthrough of this part, please do let me know. Uh, the reports are useful. Um, they do a very good job of uh, comparing the data and everything else that you would be using. And then really it's just playing the game and having a good time. Um, if you are not importing your students from uh, Google Classroom or from Clever, the class code is really the way that I feel it is the easiest to uh, have them enter, write it up on the board. They go ahead and write that in. I use the same same strategy for Khan Academy, uh, for Prodigy Math, for other things. It seems to be the easiest way for me to go ahead and get them into the program on board and going through. Um, let's take a look at our settings here. You can also add co-teachers, which is very helpful. You can rename the classroom. Um, you can change your standards that you're focusing on, which is super helpful. You can archive the class, which means that you've, you're done with the class. You're going to go ahead and uh, archive it so it's not here in your main dashboard area. You can also delete the class or lock a subject. So if you click lock a subject, if you want your students to focus just on math for the day, this is very, very cool. You can click ELA, and then you can go ahead and lock it. Um, so yes, lock ELA. So we'll go ahead and lock it. It says all subject, it actually disappeared. <laughs> Let's take a look and see. Um, delete class. Oh, it's not giving me the option to lock anymore. So I don't know where that's went to. If you know, please, oh, here we go. Game locks are right here. Manage game locks. And so here we go, set game locks. And so this is uh, game locks duration and select all students and next. All right, so we don't have any students, so we can't actually adjust those or uh, things like that. But this, that is extremely helpful. My classroom is right here. This is where I would enter it when I sign in. It'll let you know how many parents and guardians are con are connected to it. And this really helps your students to practice at home if the guardians know how to get in there. Setting up as an educator bottle, um, as a parent doing it as well, is very, very easy. They've streamlined the whole process. Um, uh, it's a really exciting, super positive game. So be sure to add this to your classroom and um, uh, just give it give it as an opportunity. The questions are great. A lot of critical thinking questions for every grade level. And uh, yeah, if you liked this video, be sure to uh, like it and uh, please subscribe. If you want me to do more walkthroughs for Bottle from the teacher parent perspective, please do let me know. I am more than happy to. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great school year. Thank you for all that you guys do. You are amazing. Bye-bye.